Rudy Panucci. Haven't seen you for a minute, but I'm glad to see you again down here, brother. Yeah, it's great to be here. ShakaCon has been spectacular. Uh, plus, I'm getting two Halloween episodes out of it. Whoa. Yeah. So you get to kill two birds, one stone, in the course of about three days. And, of course, you have your lovely assistant over here, Mel. Is it Mel? Mel, it is Mel. Mel. Yes. What, last name? Larch. Larch. Mel Larch. Um, how's things been for you guys the last couple days? Oh, it's been great. We've been really busy, you know, get wandering around, catching everything on film. But this is just such a great event. Seeing so many people. Like, I think we talked yesterday. You said you come here and you're just surrounded by everybody you know that yeah, does creative stuff and all those different things. And it's nice for me to be standing here in front of the Razor Sharp Studios because I'm in Boom. The, yeah, boom. Yeah. Boom. Giving Razor, Razor Sharp the love. I am in their latest project that was actually screened on Friday night, Crawling Dead. And, uh, we've, of course, we've heard a lot about that today already. We've spoken to a couple of people that said they had a great time there. Uh, was that your first viewing of The Crawling Dead? Uh, yeah, that was actually my first time working with the Razor Sharp bunch, and I really had a wonderful time working with them. Well, like I said, you know, I've also been in a Razor Sharp production film. Yeah, well, uh, we were actually both in uh, yeah, a Razor Pork Sharp film at the, uh, together. Uh, yeah, Pork Shop 2, cool. Pork Shops. What's it called this week, Eamon? Pork, <laughs> Pork Shops. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I got to uh, get killed, which was fun. Yeah. It's, it's always fun to watch Rudy Panucci die. I go to sleep at night. I think about it. I dream about it. I, uh, the website devoted to it. RudyPanucciDeath.com. Yeah. Um, of course, this weekend you got to see a lot of great acts. I know you're big on the local music oh, yeah. scene. Uh, Dane Bay still the show for you, though. Everybody was fantastic. Uh, last night we had the uh, Nankerfelds dressed as Droogs from A Clockwork Orange followed by the Big Bad who tore up the stage and the Renfields who are always incredible. Friday night we had Hera, we had Foz Rotten, and uh, we had the McGee's who got cut short, but they were very impressive during the three songs they got to do. Plus we had the Wayward Girls School of Burlesque who were always fun to watch. Absolutely. Um, Vendor-wise uh, and uh, talent-wise, the folks that you've seen here today, uh, what's, been, uh, what's been your show still in moments? Oh man, uh, we have video of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man twerking. Really? Yes. It's and it will be available in Pop Cult soon. Well, that's... Uh, Consider I, yourself warned. I guess if there's a place for it somewhere in pop culture, and uh, if anybody knows pop culture, it's you, Rudy. Well, uh, is there anything you'd like to leave the fans with, things you got coming up on Radio Free Charleston you'd like to tell them about? Well, uh, we're doing uh, the mini shows now to fill in the space between our full-length shows. We have uh, shows coming up from, with Zero King, uh, the Dread Crew of Oddwood, plus some of the bands we've shot here at ShakaCon. Uh, those are just like under 10 minutes long, a couple of songs by one artist. And uh, our next big shows will be the Halloween shows coming up in about four weeks. Well, that's certainly something to look forward to, fans. Make sure you stay tuned. Radio Free Charleston, Rudy Panucci, Mill Larch, the Outlaw Rockstar, Scott Slasher World, Zach Tara. We all thank you, one and all, for your time. Thank you. Thank you.